In today's podcast, I look at the ballad False Lover Won Back, a tale of a young and pregnant woman whose lover decides to ride off instead of marrying her. She follows him from town to town until he realises that he loves her, wishes to marry her and takes her home. I look at the background and printing history of this song and sing some of the tunes relating to it and finish with a full performance. The sun shines high on yonder hill and low in yonder glen and the very place that my love bides the sun goes never down bonnie love the sun it never goes down go saddle to me the bonny black steed O oh, saddle to me the brown that I may ride around Bonny Love, that I may ride around Bonny Love, that I may ride around. But when will you come back, Bonny Love? And when will you be home? When the heather hills are nine times burnt and all grow green again, Bonny Love. And all grow green again. But that's too long to bide away. It's too long from your home. And the baby that is yet unborn Will long be wanting its name, Bonnie love. Will long be wanting its name. That tune and words for that version was collected in 1906 by James Duncan, from his sister, Mrs. Margaret Gillespie of New Deer, Aberdeenshire. There's very little information to give a solid background to this song. The earliest printing of the text was in Peter Buchan's Ancient Ballads and Songs of the North of Scotland, published in 1828. The first printing with a tune was in 1876, in William Christie's Traditional Balladairs, collected from a singer in Buchan. Oh, that's too long away, bonny lad. Oh, that's too long from your home. For I'll be dead and in my grave ere you come back again. He put his foot into the stirrup and said he mun go ride. But she kilted up her green clothing and said she would not bide. The first in town that they came to, he bought her hosen and shoon, and he bade her rue and return again, and go no further with him. Do you like me at all, bonny lad? Do you like me at all? It's sad for you like me so well, and me not you at all. I can find no broadside printings of this song. The song seems to be confined to the north-east of Scotland, the majority of the versions collected in Aberdeenshire, and can be traced back by remarks made by various collectors through the beginning of the 19th century. It was Professor Francis James Child who gave it the title False Lover Won Back in his collection The English and Scottish Popular Ballads. The song has a similar framework to the ballad Bird Ellen, known as Child Waters in the Chow Collection, in which the lady is also pregnant, but the lover has a dress and act like his footpage, whilst he subjects her to a number of different tasks and humiliations as they travel back to his castle. Yes, he does marry her in the end. False Lover Won Back is a delight to sing, with several tune variations collected by Gavin Gregg and James Duncan, and later by James Madison Carpenter. And the very next town that they came to, he's bought her a wedding gown, and he's bid her dry up her rosy cheeks, and he would take her with him, bonny love, and he would take her with him. It's love for love that I do want, and love for love again. And there's none for you but me, my love, none for you but me, bonny love, and none but you for me. There's comfort for the comfortless, 
There's honey for the bee, and there's none for me but you, my love. None for you but me, bonny love. None but you for me. And it's love for love that I have got, and love for love again. So turn your high horse head about, and we will head for home, bonny love, and we will head for home. The tune and words were sent to Gavin Gregg from Miss Kirsty Morris. During the period December 1907 to June 1911, Gavin Gregg wrote regular articles about Scottish traditional songs and ballads for the Book and Observer. These articles, which totaled 180, were reprinted in 1963 in a collection titled Folk Songs of the North East, edited by his great-grandson Arthur Argo and the American folklorist Kenneth Goldstein. In an article published in September 1909, Greg looks at False Love in One Back. In the article, he compares five ballad texts, including those collected by Peter Buchan and William Christie. The earliest version printed by Peter Buchan has the man saying that he has another lover, more fairer by far than thee. This does not appear in any other collected text. A text collected by Greg from a Mrs. Gordon uses the opening verses of The Trooper and the Maid to create a wider storyline. It's not known whether Mrs. Gordon added this or it was already included when she learned the song. Most versions have a recurring verse, either Oh Love Me Once Again Young Man or it's love for love that I do want, that helps to build the tension and it makes the song much stronger and adds to the rhythmic delivery of the song. On the whole, the text versions are fairly consistent. Some have a repeated line at the end of each verse. As I said at the beginning of this podcast, there's very little information about the song to pass on to you. But the song has a choice of fine singable tunes and is such a delight to sing. I feel it justifies the time spent reviewing it. I will end this podcast with a song collected in October 1911 by James Duncan from Mr. William Wallace, a shepherd who lived at Lowishell Cushney in Aberdeenshire. He had collected the song 35 years earlier from a Miss Morrison. Oh, the sun shines high on yonder hill and low in yonder glen and in the place where my love dwells the sun goes never down. Go saddle to me the bonny black steed, or saddle to me the brown, that I may ride around my love, that I may ride around. When will you come back again, and when will you be home? When the heather hills are nine times burnt, and all grow green again. Oh, but that's too long to bide away, that's too long from your home, and the baby that is yet unborn will long be wanting its name. He turned about his high horse head, and fast away rode he, she kilted up her gay clothing, and fast, fast followed she. And the very first town that they came to, he's bought her hosen and shoon, and he bade her and return now, and no more follow him. But it's love for love that I do want, and love for love again. It's hard that I like you so well, but you not me again. And the very next town that they came to, he bought her a brooch and ring, and he bade her and return now, and no more follow him. But it's love for love that I do want, and love for love again. It's hard that I like you so well, and you not me again. And the very next town that they came to, he bought her a wedding gown, and he bid her dry her rosy cheeks, 
and he would take her with him. For it's love for love that I do want, and love for love again. There's none but you for me, my love, none but you for me. There's comfort for the comfortless, there's honey for the bee. There's none for me but you, my love, none for you but me. And it's love for love that I have got, and love for love again. So turn the high horse head about, and we will head for home.